Right now, I'm wrapping the mold for the voice coil. It's on a PVC tube that's slightly smaller than the inner diameter there of the voice coil former. But I have to make it just the same diameter, so that's why I wrapped this tape on there. And it's over aluminum foil that is waxed aluminum foil, and I got two or three layers worth of it. it I just rolled it in one lo long lens that wrapped around a few times. <coughs> you want it to wrap around at least a few times, and make sure you don't get many air bubbles or anything under it. And when you're wrapping this, don't get many air bubbles when you're wrapping the uh, tape on it. Keep it taut while you're wrapping it, and you got to get it. It's best to overdo it in size thicker than this, and then start peeling tape off till it fits in there. And I'll show you more once I get this done. Alright, it looks like it's the right size to fit it. And how you tell is by the split on the former. You want to see where it connects to the, sp to the spider here? And you want it to be that same size up here. And it isn't right now because it's not compressed. When it's pressed together, equal the same size because you're going to have the coil wrapped on this but it's guesswork right here and it's not good to do that and um, here, here will come a step that you're probably not prepared for but it's not too hard it's much easier than wrapping the real coil <coughs> which is um, wrapping a mock coil of one third scale and the best thing to do is buy some cheap wire alongside the main wire that you use I, I buy these um, this basic magnet wire that I use to wrap uh, the mock coils just to make sure the inner diameter will fit the T-oak pole and as long as it hovers around the T-oak pole just enough then it's uh, it'll it'll fit perfectly and it'll allow me adjustments off of the tape here if I think it needs to be bigger I'll wrap a little bit more tape on it don't take much to make a difference if I think it needs to be a thinner gap less but that mock coil first will tell me whether it's going to fit or not Alright, <clears throat> time to start wrapping the mock coil. This is the wire spool I'm using. Uh, the wire is 26 gauge wire. And um, I just built this little device with a, <coughs> a bolt in between it. The bolt doesn't hold nothing, it's just duct tape there and there. And it lets it spin around and so I can unravel it and wind it under here under one third scale. You take a measure of the voice coil from the speaker and it's just going to be a third of the height or less and the same thickness. So however many layers it is, if it's a four layer coil it'll be four layers of this wire you're going to do. It'll just be a basic epoxy to bond it together. Oh, like this. A five minute two part epoxy. Once it's wrapped uh, together You'll um, tape down the wire. It'll be wound on this aluminum part right here. See, so I already got aluminum on the undercoat, the tape, and now an aluminum overcoat that this tape is holding on right here. And the wire is going to wind on there, right on here, under a third height of the voice coil. And then once it's at the end, I'll just run some tape to hold it down um, to let it dry while the epoxy's uh, curing. And there it is. One third scale. This is the first wrap. And it's time for the epoxy now. Already dispensed just a little bit. Right here. Gonna mix the two parts together and uh, do an even coat over it. Don't leave any clumps and don't let it to where it'll dry in half a clump or something like that. You want it to be very smooth. Wipe it on smooth. For this part of the wrapping you don't need gloves. You, know, you don't need gloves at all. You don't need to even have your hands washed. It's just a basic um, gluing and it's not meant for structural rigidity or, or for thermal transfer or nothing. It's just going to hold its shape. Uh, by the time that it's fully wrapped and you'll be able to see if it fits into the gap and then you'll know whether it's time to wrap the real coil or not. 
so this is my best guess on it um, well educated guess because I've took some measures <coughs> but I'm gonna mix the glue up 15 second mix wipe it around it make sure it's evenly uh, coated and leave it for about an hour and a half to two hours before I do the next winding on it and um, when you do the next winding you will uh, use the epoxy beforehand you will put the epoxy down on it as you're wrapping it so you have to make a little more fast paced wrapping the next time but it doesn't take too long and it's not the only thing is don't overlap don't overlap the I don't know if my camera is good enough to pick up each winding on it but don't overlap any of them when you wind it at about forgot to show you the mock coils I did in the past released recently. This one was for a kicker um, CVR I think. I think it was a CVR 15 and this is for my Sherwin Vega Stroker 15 right there. Got my Stroker in here. So that's one third scale for each in terms of uh, winding height. The ones I did in the past this will be what it look like looks like when it comes off of the off of the mold here. Got it drying right now. At least the, this is still the first wrap. Still got three more to go.